I love this phrase, don't you, that celebrities decide to use, you know, when they get fired or bulleted or whatever. It's never fired or, you know, removed or axed or sacked or whatever. It's always stepped back. Have you noticed that? Step back from that particular deal. This is now the phrase that Megan and her team are using regarding, of course, uh, her brand new deal, uh, pushing forward with, of course, uh, a new podcast, shall we say. But again, once again, should I also point out, there are going to be problems. Let me explain. Morning, how are you? Nice to see you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will get it together eventually, yes. It's difficult, isn't it, when you get the giggles? By the way, thank you for your lovely comments about Ronnie Corbett, the two Ronnies. It is true, isn't it? You know, you don't get comedy like that anymore. And it seems a shame that you're not allowed to, in fact, make comedy like that. But could actually people do it now? I find it incredible. I, I worked out the other day that this particular show uh, over here at the London Palladium, you know, had virtually no posters, but apparently had been all sold out via social media so it just goes to show doesn't it where the new thing is as it were where is it how's it moved on that sort of thing interesting one might suggest that some other area that's moved on is none other than the former well known as Meghan Markle back with a brand new podcast deal and hoping of course to well shall we say move away from the disaster that was the Spotify deal even though it paid her millions of pounds interesting to note of course that she still owns all of those particular podcasts and yes is apparently going to put them out with extended remixes as they call them just in case you miss them again to a wider platform I love the phrasing on that particular bit don't you you couldn't get a wider platform than Spotify the bottom line is clearly people were not interested Spotify themselves you know are just baffled simply because of Megan's once again managed to lure somebody in to the world of podcasting but that showbiz for you now you see the bigger problem is this that Megan has promised that there will be very big names it's not going to be like previous things no she's going to sit down with the movers and shakers and Megan is coming for you if you are a celebrity that's right Beyonce that's right Hillary Clinton she is looking for names of that level she believes that you know the only way to get traction and to put to bed the disaster that was archetypes previously is basically come up with big names that will create news ructions and talking points across the podcast podcasting world now the bigger problem as we know is that this is going to be a very demanding schedule for Meghan Markle but the new team at Lemonade Lemonade whatever they're called basically believe that she is ready for the hard work and task in hand as I told you the other day a lot rides on this you know quite frankly because if this is a flop then the William Morris agency will have to basically say they've drawn a line under it audible were not keen at all that's because they're also making cuts and don't want to take the risk and a very high expense person but this time around as we pointed out Megan will get a share of said profits if there are any and I don't mean that unkindly it's a tough market out there the marketing to make this work is going to have to be mega excellent but you know what she's really looking for are people that you think she would want to interview and wherever Megan goes now including out there currently in Canada the beautiful area of the world she's looking for movers and shakers that she's willing to sit down with one team apparently though that have already bitten the dust as a suggestion was a suits reunion with just the ladies only seemingly no that's not definitely on the cards odd that isn't it for a woman who claims she wants to empower other women there are women on a comeback with a brand new deal for NBC Universal a perfect platform what could have possibly gone wrong Neil Sean in the very heart of London